Natasha Leanne Wallen Cornett. It was almost painful to listen to the details of Natasha Cornett's childhood. She was isolated with a sickly mother who physically abused her and a string of would-be fathers who abandoned her. I just remember like when she was fixing my hair um, before daycare, she would like get real upset and she'd start pulling it out and dragging me by the hair of the head and sometimes she'd hit me in the head with the brush and stuff like that and throw brushes and stuff at me. Why? Wow. What, what did you do? I don't know. I mean, she said that I sassed her, but I don't remember doing it. She, like, hit me with her fist, or she grabbed whatever was near her and hit me with that. You know what a spanking is? Uh, I guess you call it that in Kentucky. That's what we call it down here, spanking, whipping, whatever. Yeah. With a, a belt or a switch or a fly spotter or a... These little floppy bedroom shoes, something like that. But that's not what you're talking about. No. Uh, right. You're talking about hitting with a fist. Yeah. And she, your mom would do this on, is it rare? No. For a whole lot? Yeah. What was your relationship like with your mother between the ages of five and ten? Not good. I was scared of her. I mean. Why, why were you scared of her? Well, I knew she could hurt me, but I was more scared of her leaving because that's like what she threatened to do more was to leave me. Just take off and leave? Yeah. When Natasha became a teenager, the lifetime of turmoil began bearing its fruit. Natasha started dressing in dark clothing. She dropped out of school and... She took over the task of abusing herself. When did you start cutting yourself? Um, I think sixth grade. Sixth grade? Yeah. Where did you cut yourself then? My ankles. Your ankles. How many cuts do you have on your arms, legs, and anything? I don't know. A lot? Yeah. We've all seen the pictures up and down your arm. Why do you do that? Um, to release, like, emotional pain. Natasha's mother, Madonna Wallen, tearfully recalled the day she found out about her daughter's self-mutilation. She was in the middle bedroom. She was sitting in the middle of the bed. And she had a razor blade. And she cut her arm. And I said, Natasha... Please don't do that. She said, Mommy, that's the only way I can get rid of the pain. She said, just go away and leave me alone. I'll be okay. That's what she got herself to get rid of the pain. And I don't even know what the pain was.